Okay, welcome back guys. So now we're gonna see the unity codes of the punching bag. Um, the very first thing that I want to do is simply just create a 3D object which is a cylinder. I think it just resembles a punching bag. You can apply a texture or material to it. I just found this on the web. I have no idea what it actually is but I think it looks nice as you guys can see and the next thing that I want to do is I want to apply a rigid body to it now basically what a rigid body does is it's kind of like says that I want to apply the laws of unity physics to this object as you can see there is a gravity here and there's also force there is also mass which is related to force there's an angular drag and most importantly which is what we're gonna be using is you can apply a spring joint joints of different types and a spring joint is just appropriate for our purposes now I want it to be wire shaped you see this this is the joint but let me just adjust the positioning I want it to have zero and zero and I want this to be at the right top I want it to be held from above so what I need to do is I think this is what I need to grab is this guy right here okay now let's play okay this is interesting now what I need to do is this is controlled by making the spring stronger by making this say for example about 70 and I also want to dampen the movement say um, I'm just using some experimental values guys and also the angular drag now the point of an angular drag it resists, uh, resists rotation because if you can see later if I was to punch the bag this thing would keep moving back and forth, back and forth. But now that I apply some resistance, let's, let's say 10, it would actually make it come to a resting position. Okay, you see, it's much more nicer and not crazy. Now, the next step is I'm going to be creating a script. I just already started. It's called Punching Bag Scripts, which I'm going to be applying to my cylinder. Just let me change the name into Punching Bag. Punch back okay so I just want to see did the script yes now here in the script what is it that I'm gonna do uh, okay so I'm gonna start like I always do guys I always like to debug my methods using the keyboard before taking it directly to Arduino so what we're gonna do is to create a special method I'm gonna call punch it And this method is actually going to be called whenever I detect a movement in my Arduino. Okay, in my joystick. And what do I basically do? I want to grab the rigid component and add force to it. So let's start with defining a variable for the rigid component. It's going to be private. Rigid body. I'm just going to call it the bag. And on start, this is what you want the first, is I want to grab that component. I want to say get component and which component is going to be my rigid body component and this is it and here I'm just gonna say bag dot and add the force it's as simple as this but if you guys notice that the force takes a vector vector 3 force now the vector represents a direction and this direction now uh, the, the x1 is to the right the x minus 1 to the left the y1 up y minus 1 is going to be the left, the z1 is going to be forward and minus 1 is going to be 0 obviously this is going to say that I'm not going to be moving so I have to take some vector 3 to represent a direction and this is what I'm going to be doing I'm going to in just publicly define public vector 3 I'm going to say it's the punch direction and also I'm going to need a public float which is going to be the power multiplied by my direction so that it give me some power so the force would have to take that direction which is the punch direction and also I have to increase the force the magnitude of it by multiplying with the power variable that I just did hmm. and finally just for debugging purposes I'm just gonna say if input dot get a keyboard button which is get key down now the key code is going to be I'm gonna use space yes for now and what is it that I want you to do I just want you to call the method which is punch it okay save done 
Okay, now back to our unity. As you guys can see now. Wait, in my script I should have some... Yes, now this is the punching direction. And this is the power. Let's just say the power is 20. And I want you to move to the right. So this is 1. If I wanted to move forwards, right, this is have to be 1. The Z. Forget about the Y for now. But for now, let's just make it on a play. Let me just see. Okay, so pressing space. Yes, it's moving. I don't know, guys, if you can see it. Yes. It's actually moving. So I think we're done. Maybe I want to increase the force a little bit. Put it to 30 or 40. Play. Okay, this is more noticeable and interesting. And as you guys can see, if I was to remove the angular drag, the one that I told you about, which is here, say for example that is suffer zero, you're gonna see this thing like shaking back and forth like crazy. Like this. You see? It's not gonna come to a rest. So therefore I need to apply some angular drag to it and that is going to be 10 for now okay so this is it for this tutorial i'm gonna save it and the next one we're simply gonna be connecting the values from the uh, arduino joystick to this guy